And welcome back to Crypto Hulk. I'm just setting up my little work area here. Hold on. Got to get one of these. It's like 7 a.m. Sunday morning, day after my birthday. And man, I'm telling you what, I put them down. Yes, sirree. McAllen and Johnny Walker, Blue Label, Old Fashions, set a record. No, just kidding. But I did have quite a bit. It was awesome. I had great food at the Pink Martini. I think it's in Rockland. Roseville? Maybe Rockland. I think it's Rockland. I don't know. Whatever it was. Because it's right on the border. And it doesn't matter. <clears throat> what matters is they got the best drinks, the best food. I'm telling you, if you live in Sacramento, you need to patronize the Pink Martini I'm telling you what, amazing. Great people that are there, working there, the guests. No fucking riffraff and shit, nobody fighting, nobody throwing up, none of that dumb shit. You're going to get an older crowd there, um, just because it's not a cheap place to go. <clears throat> and uh, it's you go there, it's a nice time. No fucking dummies there. None of that shit. Nobody flashing gang signs and all that dumb shit. All that shit's in South Sacramento. If you want, if you want that dumb shit, go down there. Uh, my name's Crypto Hulk. I'm not a financial advisor. I'm now officially older. Wait, yeah, that steak you had looked awesome. I'm telling you, this place, man, and that's bar food. Like normally, bars have shitty food. This place, they got like a real fucking chef. <laughs> like, it's nice. It's like 30 plus crowd there. 35. Yeah, 35 and up. And uh, it's just a really classy joint. You got great live music. Uh, sometimes they have comedy. Uh, depends on what you like, <laughs> but they have different artists that's there, and uh, it's just really cool. I don't know what to say about it, but uh, Robert Bob Bobby says, in the pink fund, very nice. Robert Driscoll, thank you very much for that. Let me see what was the first one. Oh, 1970 legend was the first one on the show, and that's for show. Sean Rodriguez, Andy Arvel, Arby. See all of you in the AM. Keith Williams, I B E W, I B E W, Dan. I'm just looking through the top chat. That's all. Starting the show. Hope you had a great birthday. It was nice. It's a nice, good time. Oh, well, we'll get to that. We'll get the business in a minute. I just want to see who's here and what's up. It's going to be a good one. We're going to start off happy. We're going to start off the show happy and positive. And you know, you know how horror movies go? A horror movie like starts off with the family and they're eating breakfast and they're all getting along. And before you know it, by the end of the movie, everybody's chopped up into 20 pieces and stuff. Let's see here. Kurt's got, he's got three beers, a cheers thing, and then a couple coffees. Okay, he's slow in his roll today. Normally got some donuts and shit in there. <laughs> Oh man, then you got Command Hawk, another electrician. I've just been over sick, so that steak made me want to fly to California. Look, this the food there, I'm telling you, man, this everything's done right, you know? Like they don't cut corners. <clears throat> um I don't think it's terribly expensive there, and it's not cheap whatsoever. 
if anything, that place is like in between medium and expensive. Yeah. In between medium and expensive. It's, yeah, and, and it's just, you don't regret, like, whenever I buy there, I don't regret anything at all, whether it's a $28 steak dinner, or I forgot what I fucking paid. Um, it's just, well, perfectly done. It's hard to explain. Just the quality of the food, the texture. Okay, let's get on with it, man. I'm not trying to, I'm not working for them. I'm not selling their damn product. Okay. So, <clears throat> finally get back on the Hulk XRP Army Train Shayon Smith. Okay, so I'm sitting there drinking drinks. I'm not plugging the restaurant anymore. I'm telling you, I'm not plugging it. I'm just telling you what happened. So I'm sitting there drinking old fashions. Let me tell you. And I look up on the screen. So here comes the show. Now we're transitioning from fun birthday, getting drunk, and well, not getting drunk. Crypto Hulk doesn't do that. Uh, but um, I'm looking on the TV screen, and it's showing Iran is attacking Israel. I'm like, damn. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm literally seeing these bombs or whatever that are all streaming towards Israel or something. I'm like, oh, damn, is this it? Like, I'm sitting, I'm watching this, telling my friends, you guys, I think it's about to go down. Um, I'm watching it. Nola. Nola one says, happy birthday, big fella. So I'm sitting there. Trying to, well, not trying to enjoy myself, enjoying myself just in the moment, listening to some live music. And I'm looking at the TV screen. They got the CNN or something on. And then I'll just, I'm watching a war start. And I look at my friends. I'm like, are you watching this fucking screen up there? And they're like, oh, oh, what? Oh, oh. I said, look at the fucking screen. And we're watching it, and it's just bombs are coming down. And I'm just like, whoa. Is this the start of the Black Swan? And then, boy, Joe, that's elementary. Um, <clears throat> then I'm thinking to myself, this is the starting of a conflict. <clears throat> and if Israel has issues, then the United States is going to have issues. Russia's going to jump in. So the Chinese, and I'm thinking, whoo, way, that's going to make the cost of gold go way up. And then people are like, Crypto Hulk, are you serious? That's that's your concern about gold going up? Like, not about people dying or whatever? Uh, now, is that a trick question? But, um, So, one of my concerns is the gold. And anytime you have wartime, gold just goes up. I'm telling you, man, it goes up. <clears throat> and when I was showing you guys like five days ago, six, seven days, I was doing a show and I said I spent other people's money on gold. I spent a lot. Let me tell you what. Like it's going to take me three, four months to pay that shit off for real. Um, hopefully. That's if I'm strict paying the shit off. Um, because I was get, I get, sometimes I get feelings, feelings, nothing more than feelings, but, um, I get feelings sometimes. And something was telling me 10 days ago, and even up to about seven days ago, buy the gold. Like There was like this obsession of me getting gold. Like something was pushing me to buy or get gold. And like I said, other people's money. Because I really didn't have any, actually, to tell you the truth. But um, I'm trying to pay off debts and stuff. 
so I got into more debt, and that's a okay. <clears throat> Remember, I started telling you. I'm thinking about maybe getting a home equity line of credit and buying some fucking gold. Told you that, didn't I? I didn't do it <clears throat> because I'm already like in a lot of debt right now. I got to pay off. If I'm lucky, I can pay off all that fucking gold in three to four months. Okay. Um, and I, because I got that feeling, that's like something was pushing me to buy a lot of fucking gold, and I did. And I don't regret it. I, I got three credit cards right there that are maxed out. Can't get any more. So, did you watch Digital Dildo? Hunter, no. I haven't watched Digital Dildo for a few days. Because, well, I'm not talking about how much gold I got. But, uh, I got enough. I got a lot, actually. I got a sickening amount because I just, I was having feelings like two weeks ago, <clears throat> the past month. Okay, for the past three weeks, something was just telling me, buy gold, buy gold. Like, I'm telling you. And then just, it was ma making me buy gold. And, um, and I got it all about a week ago. And then this war kind of starts with Iran and Israel. And I'm like, oh, maybe that's why I felt the need to buy a shit ton of gold. Hmm. Interesting. So that's how it is. Um, Doc, DJ Super... Chancho. Okay, so hope your birthday dinner looked good. Yeah. I tried to keep um, the food low carb for the most part because I knew the alcohol was going to. The alcohol is the carbohydrate. So, all right. So, there you go. That's just want to let you know. Sometimes Crypto Hulk gets the feelings. Let's go into V Chain. V chain. Now I have XRP and I have V chain, and that's it. Those are the two cryptos I have. My name's Crypto Hulk. I'm not a financial advisor, not crypto advisor either. Yeah. Don't buy anything I say. None of that stuff. Don't listen. Just turn off this broadcast. Everything on it's a complete lie. XRP Gold and a 24 Crypto Explosion Membership. Syrian Marshall. My birthday was a day before and lots of cake. Uh, M feel off, fell off the carb wagon. I didn't have no cake. I didn't have anything sweet, actually. My whole birthday. It's just because I just don't want to. Like, I'm not a sweet person. If anything, like Doritos or something or the thing I like to eat. Not cookie. If I start eating cookies and cake and shit and ice cream, I start feeling sick. Like, I don't... Sugar and me never go good together. Even since I was a little kid, I've always wanted, like, some good Doritos or a McDonald's cheeseburger or something like that. Like, these are things like, yeah, hamburger, chips. Mainly Doritos. Yeah, I'm not much for like sugar and stuff. Or... Yeah. All right. Um, v Chain. Let me go to the community page. Let's look at V Chain for a minute. <clears throat> Let me get this page going. The reason I got to go to the Israel has a couple hours to make a plan against Iran. We are ready. Man, I told you that's why I got that fucking gold. Gold, I say. Um, if you don't, if you can't get physical gold right now, 
then go with paper gold. If a war starts, let me tell you something. <clears throat> go to like, if you can, go to like some investment site, whether it's, I don't know, Edward Jones or some shit or whatever, and just like buy paper gold. And then when it doubles or something, then you can sell it off and make a profit and have all your tax paid off. And so, yeah, I would just do something like that. Or if you can get down to a gold store, buy gold, like real gold, because it's coming. This this war thing, oh, it's gold's gonna double or triple. I'm telling you right now. In like a month from now, gold's not gonna be at twenty three hundred an ounce. It's gonna be like at least five thousand an ounce. You'll see. If this war pops off, which I think it will, it's a little skirmish, this conflict, then expect to double your money on gold. Just saying. Then you can sell all that gold back, and now you got free money for crypto. See, here's how it works. <clears throat> Very easy. Don't do what I'm telling you. Don't be a fucking idiot and listen to crypto hold. Um... You go into one of those investment websites, you buy some gold at 2300 an ounce, and then gold doubles in like a month. You sell it back. Now you just made two, three, four, five thousand in cash profit, and there's your crypto money. See, some of you guys are like, well, I don't have any money to buy crypto and did okay. Look, use other people's money. You get a fucking credit card, whatever it is, you buy a fuck ton of gold. A month later, when gold doubles, you sell it and all that shit's profit. There you go. Now you buy all the crypto you want for free. You want five thousand dollars worth of XRP? Now you got it for free. It doesn't cost you anything. Sometimes you just got to use your fucking brain, right? Take advantage of a situation. You know a war might be coming? You're going to make a fuck ton of money off gold, okay? Gold's not going down during a war. All righty then. Um, let's see here. We're going to talk about V-Chain real quick. VeChain is a supply chain logistics. They have something called VThor. And just by owning VeChain in your wallet, they send you VThor as well. It's pretty cool. Um, uh, VeChain tracks things. And um, right here, they're showing you VeChain announces tokenized gloves in partnership with UFC Community. The new gloves, like the punching gloves in the USC, uh, they'll contain NFC chips that track fight data. Data. According to an April 12th blog post from VeChain Crypto, the ticker, if you're looking to buy it, is VET. I own, okay, the same amount of XRP. We're talking, let's say if I own 5,000 XRP, I own 5,000 VeChain. The same number of XRPs that I own are the same number of VeChains, not the same financial amount. So this is a crypto that I think is very cool. Um, the gloves will contain... So the UFC fighters are going to have gloves on that contain... NFC chips. The gloves will contain V chain near field communication chips that record fight data, proving the authenticity of each pair. After the fight, athletes will quote donate and give away their gloves, make making them into collectors' items. The chips inside each pair will allow a buyer to check the authenticity of the item via a VeChain Thor network smart contract. Oh! Fighters will begin wearing the gloves April 13th. That was Crypto Hulk's birthday. Well, isn't that something? They started it on my birthday. I told them to, and they listened. 
<clears throat> in its post, VeChain claimed that the system will help prevent fraud in secondary market, which is a common problem for buyers who seek uh, to own the gloves worn during particular fights. The new items use aspects of VeChain's tool chain system, a supply chain management system that some enterprises use to track items and make sure um, they make it to the intended recipient. Okay. Um, Joe Rogan and Dana White will be uh, there to make an announcement. I don't see any other cryptocurrencies there, folks. Uh, Definitely not VeChain. I mean, I'm, I'm sorry. Definitely not Bitcoin or Ethereum, but VeChain is the one. I just thought that that story is pretty cool. So, VeChain is one of the top 300 cryptocurrencies. So... It's just kind of cool to see a cryptocurrency used um, in UFC. And this is just a portion. I mean, VeChain's got Louis Vuitton and BMW and Walmart and these things as their customers. They're building their technology. <clears throat> They're building the VeChain name. And it's just to track things, really. Um, when... Louis Vuitton makes a $2,000 or $3,000 purse or a duffel bag or shoes or whatever the fuck they make. Um, they can maybe microchip or NFC chip different things that they make so you can prove authenticity. Uh, you know, <clears throat> for people like... <sighs> there's different uses for VeChain. Um, and you're going to see as crypto grows... Uh, you're going to have more legitimate use cases for it. So there's your VeChain article. I would highly suggest getting VeChain personally because it's not a hype crypt like a dog coin. Or, I mean, the dog coin is going to be used by the Flared Network, but, you know, like a Shiba and all these things, like, or you don't have <clears throat> celebrities promoting VeChain. It's like they're actually using, like, UFC is actually using it. So, there you have that one. Uh, let me check the comments and go to our next article. Let me see here. I'd like to see a chip in Tyson's fight gloves, says Bobby Driscoll. Yeah, huh. I'd like to compare <clears throat> a Tyson glove with a chip in it compared to some UFC where they catch speed, power, and shit. That would be cool to know how much kind of power is power and speed is happening. Yeah, they could do the calculations. <clears throat> Dennis H says there's a test he's he put up a test and then a somebody by the name of a happy birthday hulk <coughs> thank you very much a walmart from farmers to your table okay next let's go with our next article there's that one Okay, <clears throat> financial institutions. Let's talk about the adults and what they're doing with cryptocurrency. Because this is how we get rich. Not from like people like you and me buying a little $20 worth of crypto here and there and shit. This next article is uh, John in Scotland. So it's happy birthday, Hulk. FIs. There's the article. Let me put the article on the community page because a lot of times YT doesn't do that. 
it won't post it. All right. Financial institutions look to advance technologies to protect faster payments. I want you to see what's going on. The big banks are starting to really come in and consider faster payments. Um, let's go over this article briefly. It's, I'm not going to read the whole thing. It's not a big article, actually. But... Um, Disbursements are a critical part of the modern economy. With more than 170 million consumers in the U.S. receiving at least one within the past year. Disbursements. These come in many flavors. Social Security payments, insurance claims, retail refunds. These payments all share one feature for consumers. They could be faster. Okay. Uh, according to <coughs> payments, now this website's called Payments, P Y M N T S. They did a survey. Roughly half of the United States consumers who received disbursements would choose to obtain them via instant payment rails. I want you to see this. People want to get paid immediately. Not going to happen with Bitcoin and Ethereum on a regular day that's busy, okay? Not gonna happen. And if it does, it's very expensive. Accelerated payments are not invincible. Faster transactions are susceptible to the same social earring techniques fraudsters have employed. Um, Fortunately, real-time solutions are rising to meet the challenge. People are getting ripped off, I guess. And right here, it says nearly 9 in 10 financial institutions. So 90% of institutions plan to adopt FedNow. That's Ripple Technology with XRP. Or... They plan to adopt the Clearinghouse, another Ripple partner, okay, within the next two years. Meanwhile, 76% uh, either already offer or plan to implement the Instant Payment Network Zelle, which is also a Ripple partner. Are you seeing uh, a commonality here? Not Bitcoin, not Ethereum, it's XRP. And I'm going to show you the proof that I have for the statements that I just made. Let me go through the article a little bit here. Technologies such as artificial intelligence are highly effective at securing faster transactions by identifying minute account and transaction discrepancies. Artificial intelligence can detect payment fraud and fake accounts and these things. And it's hard for financial institutions, it says in this section here, financial institutions find it difficult to implement AI and ML-based fraud solutions on their own. Let's see here. Now let's get into the evidence. Here's an article here. Let me do a copy paste so you can see it. There. Let me go to the community page. All right. Okay, what do we got here? It's called Supra, S U P R A, Supra.com. And they're talking about Fed Now. Right now. So you got <clears throat> Fed Now, which launched July 2023. 
is the Federal Reserve's new payment system. That's what Fed now is, the Federal Reserve payment system, which is mainly intended for bank-to-bank -bank transfers, okay? Now, if you know anything about crypto, there's like one crypto that's famous for bank-to-bank, cross-border, uh, distributed ledger technology, interledger protocol, putting all the cryptos to work together. That would be XRP made by the company Ripple Labs. <clears throat> Is FedNow a CBDC? While many have accused FedNow of being a subtle attempt to issue a CBDC, that could replace cash. This is far from the truth, according to the Federal Reserve. The Fed now is neither a form of currency nor a step toward eliminating any form of payment, including cash. And oh, look, there's a Ripple logo right in the middle of the article. Ripple was created by a private company, Ripple Labs, in 2012. We all know it's the government. Ripple, somewhat like FedNow, is generally intended for interbank transfers and transactions. XRP Crypto serves as a temporary settlement layer between two independent financial networks. Yes. XRP transactions take three to five seconds and they cost less than one penny so there is your <clears throat> fed now ripple connection part of it they're working together let's see a stronger evidence let me do a copy and a paste now this next <clears throat> item I'm going to show you is only on Crypto Hulk channel. No other channel has evidence like this one. And I'm proud of that fact. So I can, I can prove to you things no other channel has. Okay, this video here that I just sent you is 47 seconds. I want you to go... How about... Go to the 21 second mark, 21 seconds. All right, 21 seconds, what do we see? You see a 2014 Ripple Labs webpage no other channel has. It says, meet the team. It says, our team of cryptographers, security experts, distributed network developers, blah, blah, blah. <clears throat> if you look here and you push the play button, you got Apple, Goldman Sachs. <clears throat> but then you have NASA, the Space Administration, the New York Federal Reserve. You know how we're talking about the Fed now with the Federal Reserve? Look right there, New York Fed. 2014, Ripple Partner from 10 years ago. No other channel has that. Just yours truly. Next, let me show you this about the clearinghouse. So the article talked about the Federal Reserve, the clearinghouse, and Zelle. Okay? Now I'm showing you all the direct connections between those three. My channel is the only one that has this evidence, nobody else. That's what you get for your $10 memberships there, buddy. Okay, here we go. Here's the title of this article. <clears throat> it's only four years ago, not a big deal. Ripple Partner, FIS, and The Clearing House. Join forces. They join forces to bring real-time payments for U.S. banks. The Clearinghouse joins FIS, which is a Ripple partner using XRP, 
So therefore, the clearinghouse is using XRP via FIS. There's your connection right there. Next, Crypto Hulk, only exclusive. Let me do a copy paste. And I'll get to the donations here in just a second. I'm too busy dropping truth bombs, proving to everybody, and showing you information that's only on Crypto Hulk channel. All right. <clears throat> the next we got is this. Um, it's a one minute, 40 second video. One minute, 40 seconds. Uh, go to the 28 second mark. Actually, let's back this sucker up. Let's back this son of a bitch up. I want you to go to the three second mark. Three second mark. All right. What do you see here? <clears throat> well, Crypto Hulk, <clears throat> this is something, this is a web page you obviously didn't Photoshop, right? Right. What are we looking at here, Crypto Hulk? Well, I want you to see very clearly at the three second mark, you see the Ripple logo and it says IRBA. Below that, it says International Ripple Business Association. Oh, man. What do we got here? International Ripple Business Association. Now, let's scroll up to the 13 second mark. Okay, stop. Go to the 16 second mark. 16 second mark. What do you see? Canada, and then you see Blue Zell. Well, the article we we're reading showed that the Federal, the Fed now, and I just showed you they're a Ripple partner. <clears throat> then the article talked about the clearinghouse. <clears throat> then I showed you they're a Ripple partner. Then the article talked about Zell. Well, I clearly showed you here, Blue Zell, same fucking thing, different country. They're, everything's a Ripple fucking partner. You got it? This is shit right here I'm showing you. No other channel can read an article like this from payments talking about financial institutions and how 90%, I just showed you all the evidence, 90% are going to adopt Fed now, Ripple Partner, 90% are going to adopt the Clearinghouse, Ripple Partner, and it talks about Zell at 90% are going to adopt these programs. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, I rest my case. All right? Let's see here. New Jersey, little old lady, little extra for your birthday. We all love you. Thank you very much there. Dennis H. A big time mall food stand takes Visa, MasterCard, Alipay, WeChat Pay, Union Bank Pay. Those are all Chinese. And other locals all on their phones. Very interesting. <clears throat> okay. S arrived one. Thank you very much for that donation there, buddy. And you got Bernard. Happy birthday, Crypto Hulk. Wish you all the best. Let's see. Let me click out of that article and the supportive articles. Okay. Solana. Let's talk about Solana. 
crypto. Look, now you can make a million dollars off Solana. You could make a million dollars off anything if you do it just right. And you could also lose a million dollars. Let's go right here, read the title of this. Let me go to the community page. And post the articulo. All right. The title of this <clears throat> articulo says stable coins are seeing adoption as a cross border settlement mechanism. Solana is the leading, wait, Solana is leading the field in blockchain payments. But the network has scalability issues. Okay, now we're talking about stable coins. One thing I've noticed, you all have noticed this too. <clears throat> this isn't like a magnificent statement, but if you've noticed now, what I've noticed about the past one to two months, everything's fucking stable coins, right? That's that trend is what's, what I think is going to pop off first. Before Now, remember, they're going to get rich before us. Okay, that's how this works. <clears throat> I know you're out there watching the other channels, trying to get rich quick. Uh, not going to happen. Um, and you're going to invest into some shit, and you're going to get wrecked. <clears throat> and then, but that person running the channel is going to end up with millions. Let me try. That's how it always works. These little fuckers out there. But I want you to see the trend, all right? Stable coins. Ripple comes out with a stable coin all of a sudden now, right? All of a sudden. All of a sudden, stable coins are seeing adoption as cross border settlement mechanism. Stable coins are being adopted for cross-border settlements. Now, this is interesting because all I've studied for four years is how Ripple's XRP is for cross-border payments. And there was some word over the years, some government, or let's say some global agencies calling maybe XRP a stable coin. And we all kind of dismiss that. Oh, no, it's not. It's they're just using that term. And some people were like, well, why are they using the term? Then other people were like, oh, they just did a typo. Oh, okay. Okay. Ripple announces like, what, a few weeks ago? That they're coming out with a stable coin. Oh, really? Well, that's new to me because in four fucking years, I haven't heard nothing about this at all. And all of a sudden now, we know that Ripple has a public... <clears throat> um, ledger. We know that Ripple has a private ledger. Do they have other public ledgers nobody knows about? Does Ripple have... How many private ledgers does Ripple actually have? My next question is, does Ripple have other cryptocurrencies we don't even know about? Oh, Crypto Hulk, you're scaring me. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Hey, I don't know. But these little fuckers at Ripple, the government agency, they're sneaky. I don't trust them. I don't trust Ripple. You trust Ripple? Why? Because Brad Garlinghouse just has his million-dollar smile, and he seems like the nicest guy. Are you, are you that fucking stupid? Don't fall for it. He's, okay, look. He plays the role perfectly. Okay? That's why the three-letter agency government, national, not going to say security, not going to say agency, that's why, if you saw my little video I just posted, that's why that three-letter agency was with Ripple from day one. Because that's what Ripple is, a government contractor. And they're not supplying donuts every day to the uh, coffee room at the government. <clears throat> Ripple is a money service business that's full of cryptographers. <clears throat> Ripple's a government contractor. They're not selling fucking donuts every day. I want you to think. No other channel taught you that, have they? No. They have no idea. These other channels are fucking clueless. Let's move on. 
Stable coins are being adopted for cross-border payments. There have been signs of early adoption by payment firms such as PayPal, Visa. Okay. Now, I'm going to be showing you something right here. Oh, it talks about, okay. <clears throat> now, Visa is a Ripple partner like you have no idea, brand new people. The author said, there have been signs of stablecoin adoption by payments firms such as PayPal, <coughs> who pretty much invented crypto. I'm not getting into all this, but PayPal, Peter Thiel, Elon Musk. I've already shown the articles. I've done the deep dives. Go back into Crypto Hulk like 10 months, 11 months ago, and you'll see all the evidence. No other channel has what I have. But they talk about um, Mercado Libre is a business that makes payments. Mercado Libre, they're a Ripple partner. I've already done articles on this like two weeks ago and shit. Um, well, let's get into a little bit of evidence here. So we're talking about stable coins. And it just so happens that about two months ago, the World Bank calls XRP a stable coin. Look right here. Now, ladies and gentlemen of the jury, what you're about to see here is evidence. Ripple's XRP gains stablecoin status from the World Bank. Everybody, this article is like two months old. The World Bank, listen to this, has officially recognize Ripple's native currency, XRP, as a stable coin. Can you imagine that? Now, the dummies will be like, well, the price is still 53 cents. Ha, 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 ha. You laugh all you want. I don't care. I know what's going on. What's going on is XRP is getting all this legal clarification through the courts, the World Bank. Look at this. Let me, let me tell you something. The whole world's fucking bank calls XRP a stablecoin while the fake lawsuit, see, all these other channels, they report on the lawsuit, don't they? Yes, they do, Crypto Hulk, because they're fucking fake channels. <clears throat> All these other channels, one to two times a day, depending on how many shows they have, report on the Ripple trial and all the news and shit with that. They do that for ratings. If they believe the court case is fake, they don't care. They're just trying to get ratings. How often, tell me, how often does Crypto Hulk talk about the court case like zero? Why the fuck is that? Crypto Hulk, you never talk about the Ripple case. You know, every day, Crypto Hulk, we don't get an update every day, Crypto Hulk. Why is that? Because if you've been watching my show for two years, I've been telling you the court case is fake, just like these other people on YouTube and these other platforms. When you have the World Bank calling XRP a stablecoin, then you look at the judge sitting on his case calling xrp something else are you serious unbelievable hold on I'm just adjusting this is unbelievable unbelievable um oh um yeah but then you got the sec Suing XRP, calling certain sales. Look, this whole... Okay, look, 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 look. Crypto Hulk doesn't report anything on the trial because it's fake. No other channel knows this kind of shit, okay? <laughs> There's nothing in the United States code. This is truly embarrassing. This is embarrassing. It's very, very embarrassing. But 99% of people that make programs on YouTube have no fucking clue. 
They report on all the court trial stuff. Let's hear from John Dayton. Let's hear from Stuart Alderati. These people don't know a fucking thing. Truly sad. Then they want to go to some kind of ripple Las Vegas and let's all listen to <clears throat> Stuart Alderati and let's listen to John Deaton. Are you fucking high? This court case ain't even real. The rest of the world knows it's a stable coin. The rest of the world knows. But for YouTubers and uh, the SEC, they have their own. See, the SEC's agenda is to confuse people. And dumbasses on YouTube and these dumb shit lawyers that I just mentioned have no fucking idea what the United States code is, let's say, and how there's nothing in it regulating crypto. But there's all kinds of things about carjacking and all kind. I don't want to mention certain buzzwords because the algorithm is going to get it all nutso. The United States code is the national. Definition. What is this? What is that? What is staking? What is this? What is yield farming? There's nothing in the United States Code. Gary Gensler can't say shit about any of this. None of these lawyers are bringing up the United States Code. Your Honor, under what authority does the SEC have to rule? Actually, Your Honor, can you show us in the United States Code where there's a definition of what cryptocurrencies are? Answer will be... The judge would be like, no, I can't. Then if we had lawyers that were at least worth their weight in shit, both of those guys weigh about 170 pounds and they're worth that much in shit, the smart lawyer would say, your honor, you're presiding before a case <clears throat> dealing with cryptocurrency. Can you please show the court all the <clears throat> definitions of what cryptocurrency is and what staking is and yield farming. Can you show us all that? And what are the penalties of cryptocurrency sales? Or can you show us that in the United States code? The judge will say, no, I can't. Then the lawyer would say, I uh, request to have this trial dismissed based on we don't have definitions in the law. Case is over. Gary Gensler cannot bring this case because in 2015, in the Ripple Settlement Agreement, the United States government, the United States Attorney, the Justice Department, the Treasury that deals with money, FinCEN, who's the enforcement arm of the Treasury, determined what? Ripple is a money service business. And number two, that Ripple's XRP is considered electronic cash or currency. This is already done. These dumb shit lawyers, it's all a show. I don't need to go to Las Vegas and listen to some dumb shit from these lawyers. I just told you what the truth is. Okay? It's that easy. Exactly. So you got the World Bank calling XRP a stable coin. <clears throat> You've got the United States government calling it currency and cash. And yet we have dumb shits reporting on a Ripple trial every day. Unbelievable. Next, we're dealing with the stable coins again. I've shown this article. I'm going to show it again. Let's do a paste right there. <clears throat> okay. So this article <clears throat> is from Coindesk. We're reading. It says, stable coins are seeing adoption as a cross-border settlement mechanism. In this article, we read that Solana can't scale. Uh, it talks here about USD Circle, which is actually Stellar Platform. Talks about PayPal. Talks about Visa. So let's look at PayPal and Visa. 
PayPal and Venmo are working with Visa for person-to-person -person payments. And you notice Cross River Bank and Pfizer <clears throat> is mixed up in this, okay? Now, I got news from 10 years ago, and here's where the dumb shits are like, oh, Crypto Hulk has this older news. So it's no longer valid. Those partnerships are no longer valid. Okay. You know what's no longer valid is your fucking stupid ass opinion. I'm going to show you these, all these dumb shits. See, people are trying to be famous. So they try to talk shit about Crypto Hulk. But these are the same people that got like 30 followers on a Twitter space. And all these people are drunk and high that listen to them. Truly sad. XRP Stewie channel on Twitter. Go listen to those fucking retards. Um, <laughs> so here we have an article dated September 2014. That's 10 years old. <clears throat> and all those stupid retards on XRP Stewie on Twitter, they're like, oh, that, that shit's 10 years ago. Ha, ha, ha. Crypto Hulk. Ha, ha. Okay. All right. These people are very... MR. The title of this article is Cross River Bank is going to integrate Ripple. This article is dated 2014. Cross River Bank. Now we go to the article here dated April 2nd, 2014. We're talking 12 days ago. This article's 12 days ago talks about PayPal and Visa and shit. Look right there. Cross River Bank. Well, 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 looks like Crypto Hulk's 10 year old news is actually valid. And the dumb retards on XRP Stewie on Twitter, or we'll call it X, I don't need to say anything about those fucking tards. Next, if you look here, Fiserv, F I S E R V, <clears throat> that's a financial institution type bank money service. Again, they're in an April 2nd, 2024 article about PayPal and Visa. And if we look back at the article, I show, let me show you this one. Here we go with the Ripple Labs one again. Let me do a copy and a paste. Hold on a second there, buddy. There, and I go to the community page. Alrighty. Now go to the 22 second mark. 22 second mark. What do you see? Again, Ripple Labs. This is 2014. Ripple Labs, meet the team, and look right there Pfizer, F I S E R V. <clears throat> so when Crypto Hulk shows articles from 10 years ago and dumb shits, like XRP Stewie and all those mentally retarded people that listen to him that are all drunk and high. There's the same ones that are like, oh, Crypto Hulk shit's all 10 years old. Oh, yeah. Now you see the Crypto Hulk's right and they're fucking high, right? So I got an article from like 10 days ago, 12 days ago, with Cross River Bank and Pfizer in it. I take it back 10 years. Oh, but those articles are 10 years old. Oh, those articles are 10 years old. See how stupid these fucking losers are? <sighs> no clown Crypto Hulk, because <clears throat> I'm going to show that you eat dog shit, okay? That's how it works on Crypto Hulk channel. You mess with the bull, you get the horns. Then you look like a fucking retard, and you get clowned in public for talking shit, all right? It's just what happens. But it's okay. Those people will never learn. That's why they got 30 people on their little fucking uh, Twitter Spaces channel. Alrighty, and I got like 430. Okay, got it. Next, we're going to show the Chinese connection, and I'm going to take it back 10 years again. Yeah, buddy. Let me copy this onto this page here. And the community page. Hold on a second. The Crypto Hulk. That's 10 years ago. 
those relationships aren't good anymore. <laughs> you know what's not good anymore? Your fucking opinion. That's what's not good. Um, you need help. <clears throat> Next, here's this article here. Tencent, it's spelled T-E-N-C-E-N-T. -E -E it's one word. It's China. Tencent simplifies process of linking international cards with Weizen Pay. You ever heard of WeChat and all these other things? Let me tell you something. Oh, Crypto Hope's going to have some proof here in just a second. I'm going to show you what no other channel can show you. Yes, it's 10, 11 years ago. Oh, God, I know. It means nothing, huh? I'm going to show you from 10 years ago, Tencent and WeChat and all that shit was Ripple Partners. Oh, but it's 10 or 11 years ago, Crypto Hulk. Those relationships cannot possibly still be good today. Yes, they can. <clears throat> You've been watching too much of that loser channel, XRP Stewie. Now it's got you stinking thinking. Thinking like a good old drunk. Tencent simplifies the process of linking international cards with We Zin Pay. Says here, Tencent has made it easier for visitors to mainland China to register for a WeChat account. See that right there? This was said two days ago on April 12th. Now, you got WeChat mixed up with Visa. Tencent said in July that users of WeChat can now link their cards issued by Visa, MasterCard, JCP. I'm going to show you just one piece of evidence here. That Visa is Ripple. I'm not going to show you both articles. Look at this right here. I want to show you all the connection with China, Visa. Look at that article right there. Visa spends about $1 billion on a Ripple company. Why did they do that? Because they like Currency Cloud? No, they want Ripple Tech. That's why the fuck they did that. Oh, but the price was only 53 cents. <laughs> I'm like, is that, is that the only thing that runs into your head? That's why these dumbasses believe in the fake price of Bitcoin and Ethereum. They're, they're going to be wrecked. So fucking wrecked. I'm going to laugh, and I'll refer them to the suicide hotline when they're all broke. And they can go back to their little fucking Twitter spaces and snort drugs or whatever they do on there. Fucking losers. Alrighty then. Look right there. There's your first bit of evidence. Okay, <clears throat> this is a two minute, 26 second video. I want you to go to the one minute, 29 seconds. One minute, 29 second mark. Watch the whole video when the show's over. Okay. Uh, one minute, 29 seconds. What do you see here? Well, we know there's a Ripple page going on because we can see it written right there. And it talks about Tencent Weibo, W-E-I-B-O. So there's your WeChat connection. And then the Tencent friends, Tencent friends. What are we seeing here? Ripple mixed in with Weibo and Tencent. This is 2013 or 14. I just showed you there. Lastly, let me show you the direct connection with Ripple and the Red Dragon Country. Uh, it's called Ripple China. I'm probably setting off all the algorithms right now. Hopefully we're lucky that they aren't working on weekends. Okay, look what I just sent you there. I want you to go to the 23-second mark. No other channel has this. Go to the 23-second mark. What do you see? 2013 Ripple China. What is this? Ripple actually made 
of cryptocurrency for China in 2013. It's called the CNY. Or you can call it Ripple China, your choice. Why haven't you heard this on the Digital Dildo Brothers channels? They aren't talking about any of this stuff. Isn't that important? They want to talk about the Ethereum free pass. That's not even illegal. That's like nothing at all. What I'm showing you here is why is an American company linked up with a communist one making them cryptocurrency? Isn't that the story you should probably focus on instead of dildos? How is it you're sponsoring a Ripple Las Vegas and you're not even talking about, you're not even asking David Schwartz, why is there Ripple China? David Schwartz, how, how did you hook up Ripple in China? Why have we not heard about this before? Why do we have to hear it from Crypto Hulk? Actually, David Schwartz, why do we have to hear about all the evidence on Crypto Hulk channel? Because nobody else has it. Why the fuck is that, David? What about Ripple Russia, David? Can you help us out with that one at the conference? I know we're in Ripple Las Vegas. Can you tell us why Ripple was helping out Russia form their cryptocurrency? It's called Ripple Russia. Crypto Hulk has the video. Can you explain that for us? Uh, I'm under a non-disclosure. I can't talk about that. Uh, okay, figured. All right, got it. All righty then. So now we got the the wee pays and the wee chats and the wee wees and all that stuff, right? No other channel, folks. Secret Squirrel Society. And you got JM says you're the best. Well, I have the best evidence. I just don't know why no other channel is. See, these other channels, it seems to me like they're just selling shit and promoting stuff, right? Like, they're obviously not doing a deep dive. For some reason, I got to do all this shit. If they do focus on some, they've been talking about this Ethereum free pass shit for four or five years. Like, who the fuck cares? Okay, what you got is American businessmen cheating on their taxes. Okay, now that's not really news, you know, I mean, I'm not promoting it, but when you got Andrews and Horowitz, Wells Fargo, consensus, certain rich people buying Ethereum illegally back in the day, or was it illegal? There's no laws, so it wasn't illegal. We have no crypto laws, so it's not illegal, but the fact that you're selling something with an agreement of purchase now it becomes a security violation but is it really news think about it american company violates security laws i mean that's i mean it happens all the time i'm not saying it's okay but now crypto hawks news is ripple helps communist china make a crypto now that's some big fucking news there's no statute of limitations on treason right right News at 7, Crypto Hulk exposes Ripple Russia. Isn't that treasonous? Yeah. <clears throat> so this Ripple Ethereum free pass, I mean, I'm sorry, this free pass story, these digital dildos are trying to sensationalize with Stephen Neryoff. Like, who the fuck cares? That's not even news. American steals and avoids taxes. Um, not really breaking news, but after seven years, still nothing you can do about it. The Ethereum free pass was 2015. That's well past the statutes, limitations. I would just let it go. <clears throat> Somebody can go tell the dildos, you just need to let that stupid story go. That's over seven years ago. Ain't shit going to happen. Nobody fucking cares about some businesses that evaded paying some tax. That's that's a nothing burger. But they keep playing it up. Oh, Stephen Arioff. Stephen Arioff. They're trying to get views. Do you understand what I'm telling you? I'm showing you the game that these other channels use that's completely useless. Now, Crypto Hulk's news. United States helps China develop a cryptocurrency in 2013. That doesn't have a statute of limitations. Treason is never going out of style. See what I mean? So my news kind of trumps their news. No pun intended. All righty then. Let's see. I think that'll be it. A minute. And, I mean, I'm sorry. One hour, nine minutes. And it's now eight, what? 
8.13 a.m. Sunday, April 14th, Pacific Time. That'll be the end of this show. <clears throat> Roger Prater says, only found you because others referenced your findings on their channels. You are the source. Okay, there you have it. Um, I gotta go. It's an arm day. I have to try to work my arms. Try to get them bigger. But at 54 years old, I'm trying to slow down getting old. That's what happened. You hit about a certain age, and it's like you know you're not going to get bigger working out. Now it's like now you're trying to prevent yourself from getting smaller. So that's what we do. Eric M. says no one else will dig as deep. No, because you pay, right? <clears throat> I got members. You pay. My job is to provide valuable information. So your five or your ten bucks that you pay for a monthly or a donation that you pay, I want you to know that I do my best to find the deep dive information to boldly go where no channel has gone before, okay? Look, no one gives a fuck about us. They all got these sponsors and corporate sponsors and shit and da-da-da-da. They're dealing with multi-million dollar companies. I'm dealing with people trying to make it. So the beauty of it all is this channel provides you information you will not find on any other channel. So you know, should I invest in Ripple, XRP, XLM, XDC, VeChain? I'm only going to talk about cryptos. Now look, I'm only going to talk about ones that I believe in, investing in. I don't believe in Ripple because it's a government and it's all kinds of mixed up in lies and shit. Um, I'm just showing you stuff. That's why my channel channel is shadow banned so hard is because they just don't understand how I can fucking find this information. And is it, it's not that I'm <clears throat> doing anything miraculous. It's just, I'm doing my job looking up and searching for information. That's all I'm fucking doing. It's nothing special. It's these people's asses are getting so fat. <laughs> and they're getting so fat fat and lazy their ass is just spreading out to where it's like three feet thick and they just keep sucking the oscar meyer all these sponsors and you get dog shit in return and then if they do have a little private website or a channel they just talk about hocus pocus conspiracy dumb shit it doesn't even relate to crypto on their private channels my job is to make you rich so i'm showing you all these connections fed now clearing house Zell, Ripple Partners, da, da 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 I'm showing you beyond a shadow of a doubt all the connections. And it goes right up to the top of the government and the world, the, the World Bank even calling Ripple a stablecoin. I don't care what the price is. That doesn't fucking mean anything right now. Right now is you're given an opportunity to buy really cheap crypto before this fucking shit takes off in spring of 2025. Then it's all over. Your chances are done. What did I do last 10 days ago to get gold? <clears throat> I took out loans, and I'll be paying that shit back for about four months. I don't fucking care because I got a gut feeling and FOMO said, get this fucking gold. Something's going to happen. And then about five days later, seven days later, Iran starts shooting stuff over there in that country. My gut's telling me. It always keeps me ahead of the step. <clears throat> Crypto She-Hulk, member for 20 months. It's been longer than that. I hope you and the family enjoyed your birthday. Have a blessed Sunday, everyone. Yes, I'll see you all in my next broadcast. I'm probably going to make a Sunday PM. I don't know the time, but I've got enough news where I'll make one, and I'll see you then.